So first of all, let's look at what a passion is. A passion is a barely controllable and very strong emotion. So I don't really have something I feel a very strong and un uncontrollable emotion towards. I just, there's something I really love to do is, which is making videos. So why I love making videos is it's very fun for me and it keeps me entertained. For example, this summer, I didn't really have much to do because I couldn't play organized sports and I, there was no schoolwork to do. So I had the idea to make some videos, some YouTube videos, and I made them on mostly video games, which kept me entertained for hours and hours during the summer. And that's what got me through the summer while having a lot of fun making the videos. So let's first of all, second of all, let's talk about different kinds of videos I like to do. So first of all, the first kind of video I like to do is, like I said, video games, because that's what I did during most of my summer. And I just love doing them because I also love playing video games. So why not play video games while filming those and making a video out of them, which I love to do. Because I could spend, I can edit them all day long and to me it doesn't seem like I'm working. The time flies like that. So I love making videos on video games because I love video games. I love making videos. And I also like to analyze a little bit and explain different what I'm doing in different games. That's the first kind of video. Second kind of video... I love to do is I love to make little videos for publicity a little bit. So let's say for La Coupe des Maisons, I'm going to make little videos to to, to make people want to sign up for the different events and also to do the same but for like a video games for different events that are going on because these days you look at the big companies, they, they really attract the consumers with videos because because uh, people get insight to go buy their product by watching TV or watching YouTube videos where there's plenty of ads and people are like, oh, that product looks really cool. They go and buy it. Because these days, not many people read newspapers or magazines where uh, there used to be a lot of ads. These days, that's very that's very low compared to the videos where all the ads are. So I want to do that. Second of all, I like to make videos to help other people and make them understand things they don't really know. So give them new information. For example, when there was flooding, I made videos showing people how bad it was, even though it was nothing like there was in the U.S. But for here, northern Canada, uh, northern North America, it's still very, that was rare. Like, we've never had that before, so that was new. So that was very, like, impactful and big for us, even though for the Americans, it might have not been very, uh, it wouldn't have been as bad as over here. So I like making videos to show them different information that they didn't know. Like, for example, someone in another country wants to know what's going on, they would see. I also like to make videos, uh, like I said, showing information they don't know, so they don't know and explaining it. For example, for my Projet Personnel, I want to make a video explaining the different impacts of different actions people with juvenile arthritis can do. So then they would understand and they would learn new information, which would help them in their well-being and their life in general. One other reason I love to make videos is, to me, it's a form of art. Because it wouldn't be the same two different people editing the same video. It would never be the same. So, because I'm not very artistic. I, I was never good in art class. I was okay in music. But to me, video is my kind of art that I'm good at. To me, this is artistic because, like I said, no two people will edit a video the same. And it's very rare that you edit, you edit two videos in a row the same, like exactly the same. So to me, it's very artistic because you, you put your own touch on it and it's going to impact different people in different ways, which is to me the same thing as a painting. People will have different ways of looking at a painting and then it would impact them differently. To me, it's the same thing in a video. And lastly, why I love making videos is because it makes me feel... It makes me feel very confident and it helps me give my opinion or help other people on a bigger scale when I don't necessarily have to be there with them or talk in the big crowds. So, for example, I'm not the best in talking into big groups of people, for example, for example, orals or anything like that or big speeches. But making videos allows me to talk to those same amount of people and have an impact on them or help them or explain them something, but without necessarily being in front of big groups of people and worrying about like just 
being in front, it's it's a lot harder for me. And also not worrying of how people react to what you say. So because if I make a video, I'm just talking to myself. I'm looking at myself in my computer, and I'm not worrying about anybody else saying bad things uh, about my video about me. I'm just talking to myself, and I say what I gotta say, and that's it. Because, for example, you look at all the big YouTubers, most of them were introverted, and now they're they're better speakers and all that. 